As the sun set over the Penobscot River, a tour was just beginning. The organization Ghost Hunts USA hosted the event, which provided guests the opportunity to search for evidence of the paranormal within Fort Knox. It's a little past 11 p.m. here at Fort Knox, where I am accompanied with the organization Ghost Hunts USA and guests who are trying to catch evidence of the paranormal using special technology. Guests were instructed on the latest technology used by paranormal investigators to find evidence. Equipment like EMF readers, spirit boxes, motion sensor light devices, and more up for grabs. Staff member Drew Babineau explained that some of the sensors guests used can recognize movement through antennas intended to read certain frequencies and electromagnetic fields. He also explained that spirits are able to manipulate these sensors. Babineau detailed previous experiences at the fort that he was most excited about. There was myself uh, over actually in Longstep Valley, and then we had another stop that was actually down in B-Batter, so two opposite sides of the fort. Um, we actually heard cannons going off. Uh, B-Batter, we were doing phasma box sessions in there, and they were hearing French. It was speaking French, and we've never heard it speak French before. I mean, it always speaks English. Do that again. There you go. Pardon. You're almost there. I think you just said pardon. <gasps> Good job. Can you turn that flashlight back on for us? Thank you. Ghost Hunts USA is hosting more ghost hunts at Fort Knox and other locations this month and next. To learn more, head to foxbangor.com. For ABC7 and Fox 22, I'm Emma Smith.